Today I will show you how you can send NDI video from QTimer to another application and place it as a lower third on top of other video sources. So let's drive straight into it. Uh, the first thing we do is that we enable NDI in QTimer. And that is quite simple. You simply push the NDI buttons. And in the preferences we have some more settings. I put the uh, resolution to normal HD and I put the frame rate to 15 FPS. And the reason I did this today is that uh, on this computer we are doing a lot of things. We are recording this uh, video here, both screen recording and the normal recording. And we are sending NDI, we are receiving NDI. So it's a lot of stress for the computer. And in order to relax a little bit about the uh, processing power, you can do this little trick by putting the frame rate down. So let me show you briefly how you enable NDI in QLab. And this is a new setting in the newest version 5. It's kind of cool. Uh, QLab is mostly used for theater to play back sound and uh, video, but uh, you can also find other uses for it. And that's what we are doing today. So we have a little QLab tutorial as well. Uh, in QLab, you go to the video inputs. And here you can see that QLab finds QTimer here. And then I have made a couple of queues. This is the NDI queue. I have set the video input to the NDI. And today we're going to use the addition window because the full screen will just cover the whole screen. So now let's uh, start the queue. And you can see the countdown here. It's in a copy of the preview. It's the same graphics that's just spread as um, NDI graphics. And then I have this uh, video source here that I want to place under the countdown. And let's start this uh, well in the addition window. Uh, but uh, nothing happens because I put it on the bottom layer and then QTimer is on the top layer. So how are we going to make sure that this window here is in the corner. Well, we're going to do that from QTimer. And when you go to the preferences menu, we can turn on the cropping and we make the size smaller. But still it's covered. And that is because we have this called background key color. Now when you change it to something else, to green, you can imagine if you are using chroma keying, this is how you do it. You put this to green and then you can make this green color disappear. But now we're going to so show something called alpha keying. And that is making this transparent by turning the opacity to zero. And now we can finally see the video in the background. And then we can position it a little bit down like this. We place it in the corner and yeah, maybe I, I just want to see the countdown. I don't want to see uh, anything else. So I put out the logo and the progress bar and clock and description. And I'm not so happy with this background box. Can we remove this too? Of course. Then. We go here. This is like the colors for, for this window only here. And I put it as default. That means that uh, no matter if it's an overtime or if it's uh, past the warning, then this, this color is the same. And now we simply put it to zero like this. So that's how you can do it. Now we have the, the countdown here. You just remove the background colors and place it where you want. And that's it. But um, I can also show you another way to do it. If you if you prefer not to do this in the queue timer, then uh, let's uh, turn everything on again. I, I turn on the background. No way, yeah, like this. And uh, I go back to turn off the crop so it fills the screen. Um, yeah, I think I think you can do this in. So if I now, let's see how this works. If instead 
scale it down, yeah. Like this. And I can, I'm not so used to, it's been a long time since I've been using this now, but um, you can definitely, yeah, you can, just like this, you know, this is from QLab. So, so always uh, different ways, but still, if you want this uh, transparent, you might be able to, to get some uh, keying effects here. Actually, I didn't uh, check this, but it's much easier just, just to do this in QTimer, you know. You can just uh, go to the background and make it transparent like this. So these are some ways you can send the countdown to QLab over NDI and put it on the top of other video sources. Take care and see you again soon.